Colleagues, I'm very glad to greet you on this uh, very special panel dedicated to uh, our one and only Itzik Manger. This year we commemorate 50 years from his death, uh, the death of the poet who was uh, very unique not, not only for Yiddish poetry but also for European literature and the one who managed to unite in his works folklore and literature, Jewish and European elements, uh, uh, schund genres and sophisticated uh, uh, high uh, examples of uh, literature. And I'm very glad that in our section we have uh, participants from different countries that represent different uh, places which were very significant for uh, Manger's life. And uh, we had a slight change in the program, so we start with a presentation by uh, Anna Todorance, am I saying it right? <laughs> from um, uh, Jewish Feder uh, Fedrom, Jewish Federation of Romania, affiliated in Bucharest University and also in the Center for the Study of the History of Jews uh, in Romania. And uh, her topic is uh, Images and Im Im Imaginary of Witzig Manger in the Adam Magazine review. Um, okay. um, my specialty, I'm a historian. Uh, my specialty is image, history of photography and uh, photographers, Jewish photographers. Uh, I discovered uh, in Adam uh, an artistic work, work and work uh, Sometimes uh, I, I find a small piece of uh, Yiddish uh, word, like uh, the story about Siget and about uh, the living uh, city of uh, Elivize, which was documented by uh, a Jewish writer and a Jewish photographer. So, so from time to time uh, you find Jewish Bucharest or Jewish Siget, or uh, in this case, a very rare uh, number uh, dedicated to a very young personality, to uh, Itzig Manger, who was uh, 36 at that time. Uh, the only other uh, uh, number uh, dedicated to a, a personality was dedicated to an old historian, uh, Moses uh, Schwarzfeld, who was 80. So the difference is really uh, in, in our faces uh, and uh, in, inside this number uh, I don't know if you know this review, Adam uh, it's in Romania so it's uh, not really <laughs> uh, it's a cultural uh, review it's only in Romanian uh, the works of uh, manga were, were translated in Romanian by uh, other uh, poets, Jewish poets, and Romanian poets. And um, it has the same uh, um, fate as all the others, Jewish newspapers or uh, uh, Jewish uh, reviews, magazines. Uh, uh, they were uh, officially existence they, till 1940 when everybody was uh, forbidden to, to write. Also the uh, Jewish writers were uh, officially left out of the official uh, literature. Um, so um, uh, I started with the famous uh, picture of uh, Manger. Uh, the picture by Arthur Koenig, it's like his logo, it's the most famous uh, image of, uh, of Munger. Uh, it's the cover for this, uh, his first uh, uh, volume, uh, which appeared in Bucharest, in Shalom Alechem uh, printing shop, uh, when he was only 28. So he, this image of his forever young is uh, multiplicated by Koenig in other, uh, in other uh, painting, paintings uh, as well. But um, 
Adam is very interesting from uh, uh, the covers because they are showing different avant-garde artists and Kolnik is uh, not uh, only covered in 1937. Uh, he had different other covers in the 30s and even before. So uh, you can see also he uses the first painting to recreate something uh, republished uh, in other uh, versions and different uh, versions. So um, how I, I discovered uh, manga? I'm not a specialist in uh, Yiddish. I study, I've studied Sephardim in Bucharest. So for me, uh, like in all the uh, people who talk about manga in his uh, own era, was really a magical uh, happening because I, uh, I found original photos of him in our archive. So I hope you will see them for the first time. This is a um, uh, picture from the same period as a painter uh, and it's in Chernowitz, Chernowitz. Uh, and uh, at his side, uh, on the back of on the photos, it said uh, this is his fiancée but uh, she didn't marry. <laughs> and we see the a famous uh, hair, almost the same. And another picture, I think uh, we had also the original. This is from the archive of the Jewish community. It's a um, uh, photography of, of the young manga uh, from the left in Chernobyl before his departure with the whole family. And you see the father and the mother and uh, different other relatives. And um, on the left is the back and the writing from the somebody who uh, saw the and I wanted to, to, to see the real what is real uh, photos are look, looking and maybe it's not seen day to day. Uh, they are displayed in the Jewish Museum in Bucharest. Uh, we have a, a special uh, setting for, for manga and uh, avant-garde and all his friends are uh, with him in, inside the box. So uh, the, the left one is, you can see uh, him with the hat, he's the one with the hat, uh, with uh, actors and on the uh, right side it's uh, one of the Jewish uh, deputy from Chernowitz, uh, uh, it's Max Diamant, one of the important political figures from Chernowitz. Okay, maybe this you can you saw. Yeah, he's in the. The one, the one on the left also quite known. Yes, it's it's Manger with Moshe Atman, Eliezer Sternbach, and uh, Jakob Sternberg. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's an important year for him and an important photography showing him with uh, people who um, were like uh, very important for the first volume and uh, for him to, uh, to publish in different other countries, not only in Romania. Because uh, what, after he came from Chernovitz, Chernovitz uh, he came to Yash. Uh, and he's very much related to, to Romanian culture, to Romanian poetry, to Eminescu, our national uh, Romanian poet, and uh, which had a, a really big influence to him. Uh, and I wanted to show you inside all the number is. Uh, uh, covered with uh, translation of other uh, Romanian poets. So um, you can see Cernoi Fenda in Romanian, which is Stele uh, Peacoperis. And uh, 
that ends like today, uh, mothers fall asleep, shadows, that smells like uh, evangels and uh, osana, and golden stars are sleeping on the roof. But um, in Romanian, if you want to know what Margaret uh, sounds in Romanian, I can, okay, because he knew Romanian, it's one. Uh, okay, stele pe apoperiș. <coughs> Noapte, stele dormitează pe zăplaz. Mame, firave, dorm trudit și lin. Se încheagă acum, simțirea în când divin. Fericit e acel ce acum e treaz. Ascultă taina ce respiră ta în hău, adâncul mărilor, câmpie și, și a pădurii. E veșnică chemarea creaturii, tânjind după arătarea unui zeu. Și cine știe, cândva poate o să-l vază și în când de sărbătoarea îi va ieși în cale, azi lasă, stau apostolii la masă, azi însă mame gătesc uh, umbră în de zi și cu miros de evanghelii și o sanare, iar stele de aur dorm pe acoperiș. Divine. So I hope you, you like it in Romanian. It's a translation by a uh, really uh, big uh, Jewish uh, uh, poet, Eric Fortuna. He translated a lot of ballads uh, aside from this. And uh, on the back of, of the number, it says uh, it's a short biography uh, because Adam, it was uh, for uh, Jewish intelligentsia, but also for uh, uh, the common public, and they uh, uh, publish it and explain a lot of things to, to elevate uh, the public. And uh, they explain how, uh, when it's born, uh, what is uh, education, uh, the first publishing, so what she do, uh, is she doing in Warsaw, and things like that. And, and, and at the end, uh, it says, um, uh, what is the meaning of his number? So it says, uh, at the end of uh, his meteorical visit uh, to Bucharest uh, among us a few days ago, uh, which was an, a spiritual event for all of the Romanian writers, so he doesn't say Jewish writers, he said Romanian writers. So this is the reason Adam is in Romanian, because Romanian publish also Romanian uh, writers, mm -hmm. not only Jewish. It's like a bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason they translated manga is also for others, uh, other, uh, to, to make Yiddish available, understandable, and lovable for uh, Romanian uh, writers. So it is, uh, from his modest uh, pages, Adam sends a warm appreciation to the one who enriches the world with sounds and images. And all of his uh, writers, uh, they, they are really impressed and they, they are uh, using the same key, like um, speak about his magical um, readings, uh, very mystical experience uh, and really, really impressed. One of them is uh, Felix from Maderka. He is uh, one of the most prominent figures of uh, Romanian literature, not only Jewish. And um, in, in the center of the ballads of Manga, he, he wrote uh, it's mongers uh, among us. So, um, and the the second uh, legend is uh, the poet who left. And he said, uh, in one of the satirical and idyllical ballads of Manger, he confessed that the first sky he knew was Valachen land. Valachen land means Romania. It's the land of Valachs. Uh, and uh, which is, uh, as we already knew, the land of poetry. We lost the poet early. He is in the first one. Legends of butterflies are flying away in other sunny fields. 
In a few minutes of his lecture, the poet alternated the tragic ballads with fluid poems, uh, his grotesque vision with prophetic anger. It isn't a national, uh, nationalistic poetry, and it was clear that this uh, children of Valachenland uh, is one of, uh, it's a universal poet. It doesn't belong to us. It's, it's the one from, uh, if the ones from Valachenland lost you, then the first day uh, of your departure, the doors of the entire world are open for you like a charm. So it's like the, everybody say goodbye <laughs> and Godspeed. <laughs> okay, uh, another poet, uh, A. Toma, uh, it's another Jewish poet with a uh, Romanian name. It says, uh, it was more than a reading, it was magical reading. At first, we are also you raising your blue hand like a wizard and you cut the green clouds of banality that crush the star of poetry on the sky of our existence. I shake your hand, the real one, the earthly one, not the blue one that is supposed to be left up upstairs to cut the clouds. Um, this is a good version of Toma, uh, which after the World War II became a Stalinist uh, poet who was really with a funny uh, poetry. Um, another uh, uh, poet writes about his uh, speeches and poetry. And um, it's really, really interesting. In Romanian also, and I put also in uh, German, um, ex except from Czernowitz's um, uh, Tageblatt, uh, from a year before, when uh, they were covering his uh, speeches uh, about the true meaning of ballad, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's about the vision of blood, and also Gottlieb, uh, it's uh, uh, speaking also about the vision of blood and it's the same ideas, uh, uh, it's like in, in parallel, he spoke the same conference in Bucharest and in Chernobyl, the same but with the same effect. Uh, in German, the, the, uh, the chronic uh, is uh, really with the same effect of uh, uh, mystical experience and people who see images, who thought uh, um, he will change the world, he will be something really, really important, and also they have the same, um, the same uh, sensation of uh, departure and. And also about uh, Gottlieb, I wanted to, to uh, write, uh, to, to read something. Um, Gottlieb says, since uh, from the childhood he looked into the dark uh, death uh, eyes of the ballad. And uh, these are quotes from his conferences. And uh, the content of the night and the sense of the shadows on earth since he is uh, surrounded uh, by vision of blood on the road of his uh, poetic uh, creation. And also in a, conf a conference from Chernobyl in 1936, he spoke about the essence of the ballad and he speaks about the vision of blood, uh, an ancient call, and he explained, it's an ancient uh, call that is uh, in our blood but uh, we cannot guess uh, or, or hear sometimes. It's a universal cons conscience that we carry with us from generation to the next generation. And uh, also, uh, 
I wanted to also translate for you something from when you're really, really interesting because uh, Fischer Galaz, it's another Jewish uh, writer, he spoke about the meaning of Yiddish and what uh, Munger brings to, to, to Yiddish. And uh, his um, conclusion is like uh, if uh, Sometimes Hebrew will exist in the ancient uh, country of Ahasuerus, uh, and uh, Yiddish be begins uh, to, to be like uh, an Atlantid. Uh, we, we are the ones who heard Yiddish from the mouth of Itzig Munger, and uh, that Atlantid is surrounded by mystery, and from time to time we will remember it. Uh, like a day, like an evening in September, as Munger said once. So I think it's really, really interesting. Uh, it has a lot of images, literary images, and a lot of uh, uh, people who admire uh, his conference, his personality, and he's really important for, uh, for Romanian culture also. And I wanted to conclude, like, uh, we remember Munger. Uh, I, I'm also the historical consultant for the Jewish Museum in Bucharest. And uh, all the concept uh, of the museum is uh, based of uh, Golden Pave of, uh, of Itzig Munger. And we have it also in the presentation, official presentation of, uh, of the museum. And uh, it's, it's a museum that is uh, also a miracle because it's a former synagogue who survived the uh, communist demolitions and saved half of the street from the demolitions. It has uh, 40 years. And now it's reopened uh, from about um, a month on Shavuot, they reopened. And uh, we are hoping to do um, uh, some educational uh, workshops also on manga and Jewish folklore for uh, children. So thank you. Um, questions? Does anyone mention, sorry, yes. does anyone mention uh, Manga's collection that appeared in 36, I believe, Felker Zingen, where he kind of invents European folk poetry, uh, including from Romanian, Romanian, Hungarian, Ukrainian. Nobody mentioned it? The people sing about them? Uh, no, no, it's not really studied. Uh, no, the, nobody mentions in the Adam one of all those articles. <laughs> because that appeared in 37. Yes. Year, right? He already had 39 was his first collection. 31. 39. 31. No, 31 I think. It was then 31. Then 37 I think. One of them, more than one. The 36 publishers felt can see. No, no, nobody mentions this. Okay. Um, no, but they, they did a presentation of his works. It's on the back of on the number right. for everybody to learn more about him. If I understood correctly, at least some of them were native speakers of Yiddish, right? Yes, some, yes, yeah. they listen so to him in yeah. Yiddish, they understand it, but and they, they were like uh, Jewish uh, writers in Romanian. No, I understand that, mm -hmm. but some of them could also probably read. So yes, yes, like but books it wasn't books. like um, Munger uh, was like uh, really a star of y Yiddish, and uh, uh, for them it wasn't in the 30s. Yiddish was uh, really not a uh, good language to publish in, so they chose Romanian. No, that I understood, but were they aware of these publications in Yiddish? Um, no, I, no. Don't no. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. We didn't use it. It's it's like the the hidden language from home. They 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 knew, but they Not didn't only that, use but it. Many like of them could actually read it. 
not only they knew it from home, but they were also taught to read it. So yes, 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 yes. So they were illiterate in their own language, right? So yes. That's hence my question, but they probably didn't pay attention to what they published. Right? But this oral appearance or another. Yes, it's, um, you can see it from Adam. When you have the, the public who understand English, they choose not to publish in English nothing. Everything is in Romanian. No, that I understood. <laughs> no, no, I, I, but uh, uh, everything, uh, what happens to Bruna Fox, with, uh, he had some uh, reportage with Yiddish words. And in the communist times, they republished the, the reportage and they cut all the Yiddish. So Yiddish is lost gradually. It's Atlantis. Yes, it's Atlantis. Uh, and now maybe, uh, but also I want to, to uh, give uh, a little hope about Bucharest uh, because we don't have anymore many uh, Yiddish speakers, but we have a theater, with a uh, Jewish theater who plays in, in Yiddish. Historically, Bucharest was never very rich with Yiddish speakers, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any other questions? So, okay, I have a question. Okay. Uh, regarding the Munger's uh, uh, legacy today, uh, what's about the contemporary translations into Romanian? Uh, how, how much of uh, Munger's works, uh, how many Munger's works are translated into Romanian, if you know? Um, we have only two. One uh, is from, uh, they are ballads from uh, communist period from the 70s. Mm -hmm. And a uh, really nice translation uh, from last year, uh, The Book of, of Heaven. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, paradise. yeah, mm -hmm. of paradise. It's, um, uh, it's published by the Hasefer Printing House, the, the mm -hmm. printing house of the community. So. But it's really well illustrated that it's a good translation. Are there any pictures of his lectures, him lecturing in whole, how it looked like? No, no, but uh, everybody is so... Uh, Some of the family pictures that I've seen, or individual, but there's never him because he has this mesmerizing yes. Yes, cross yes, effect, yes. and he was giving the same lecture all over the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but everybody has yeah. the same effect, I was just like... See how, I mean, they always describe this effect in various contexts, but maybe there's some kind of... <laughs> it's no, like no. the English theater in Prague. <laughs> yes. Uh, ev living. Every picture I show you, uh, it's on display on the Jewish Museum, you can see it. And it's the original, but uh, if you know something else, I would be happy to, to know more about his photography. Okay, and I, I hope I bring you some, some new things. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>